Hello, it's Jason Pam for Cool Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm back at the community of Cibolo Canyons on the north part of San Antonio. A quick drive from here is 1604 and 281. So if you're looking for a really nice community that's in the north central part of San Antonio, say you got to work in San Antonio, so you don't want to be all the way out in the hill country, this is a wonderful community. Also, the home of the JW Marriott. You got the Villera Open Golf Tournament here. So a lot of perks come with this community, but the real reason I'm here is because behind me is a Perry model home that's on the market right now. This is the 3399 plan, so that's the square footage, and it's on the market for just over 1 million. Four bedroom, three and a half baths, uh, three car garage. This house is gorgeous. Let's go check it out. It's absolutely beautiful home. And you know, when I walk in and I say they've got all the bells and whistles to showcase what the builder can do. Well, here's your opportunity to buy a house that already has all the bells and whistles in it. And I can't wait to show off the view in the back. Yes, we got some special music because they're working on uh, the house right next door to it. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, walk on in. This house already has some really nice landscaping to it. Beautiful roof, gutters, everything is already done. And this house is ready to move in. Well, almost ready to move in because this would be the garage. Uh, once it's under contract, the builder will convert the office space back into a three car garage. All right, please hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. My viewership has been down a little bit because a lot more people are doing what I'm doing, what I have been doing for the last six years anyways. All right, this house, like, so right when you walk in, you're just, wow, this is a gorgeous home, two-story house, just the level of details. This is the same model that was in River Rock Ranch, uh, um, where would that be, on the complete other side of town, but, so if the house looks a little familiar, that's why. But here's the office, beautifully done office. You got the French doors. Nice view if you're wanting to sit there and here's kind of your view from the office looking out. Really nice. Now remember this section here will be part of the garage. So there will be a door coming in and there's your mud room where you would come out and you'd be looking at these rooms. All right, we have, oh, I love the, the floating uh, vanity there. Plenty of space for your guests to do what they got to do. Nice size laundry room and of course the model, they went a little splashy on that. Eight foot doors throughout. Like I said, they really spent a lot of money on designing these houses for the models just because they really wanted to showcase. Lots and lots of windows. This bedroom's going to have its own full bath, which is really nice upgraded tiles and yeah when you get in a model home yeah they really put so much detail into everything this would still come with their two-year warranty even though this model's been around for a while all right here's your uh, formal dining room space i love what they did with the accent wall and like I say, in so many model home tours, you can steal these ideas. This is not rocket science, what they did to make this wall look so good. Let's put some boards, tacked it on up, and then painted it. But wow, does it look great doing it like that. All right, coming to the meat and potatoes of this house, the main living space, and the kitchen. Just beautiful, plenty of space for everything. Love that they put the tile all the way up. That would be a significant upgrade if you went to the design center and lights everywhere. One of the things I really like about this plan is this staircase. This is the only plan that Perry has staircase coming down the main spot. I know I said this before in the same plan video, but can you imagine your high school kids coming down for prom pictures in here? And it's like, that is such a cool thing to do and he got a really nice little upstairs area as well we'll get to that in a little bit all right into the kitchen of course i like perry likes to do they'll have uh, cabinets underneath there so you can open up if you want to store your mixing bowls you've got ge appliance and profile which is a little bit of an upgrade 
Not going to forget the pantry this time. Just a corner pantry. This is a gas community, so you got your GE 5 gas burner and your upgraded island to include your granite composite single basin sink, which is absolutely beautiful and I love. They put so many details into this house. I really like it a lot. All right, you also have your breakfast nook over here. Well, once again, lots and lots of lighting, tall ceilings in here. All right, I mentioned the view out back and you're kind of seeing a little bit. I wouldn't say you've got a large backyard or easy access. And if you have a large, large dog, I wouldn't recommend this house because uh, hip dysplasia with large dogs because there's some steps going down. But wow, can you imagine just kind of sitting out here on this deck and just enjoying the evening there's the JW Marriott right there. So you know you're in a high class community. Good schools here, but I'd have, of course, have to ask the builder what all furniture and stuff remains, but you can see you got plenty of space. Upgraded uh, patio uh, fixtures like the lights and the fans. But just, wow, this is such a cool place. Just kind of come out. Drink your glass of scotch or coffee, whichever one you want to do, and have a cigar and just enjoy the day. There is some yard back there. A little bit of slopingness going down. You can see it in the fence line there, but wow, this is such a calm, quiet space back here. Really, really nice. And of course, nobody's ever gonna be living behind you. So yeah, this is a really big selling feature if you're looking for a cool place to just kind of chill after a hard day's of work somewhere in the north central part of San Antonio. All right, let's go ahead and head upstairs. I do want to leave the master bedroom and bathroom for the finale because that's absolutely beautiful as well. Like I said, I love this little spot there. You can get real creative what you want to do design feature wise for this little circle. Rock iron going all the way up. And usually I'm doing model tours, it's because they can build something like this, but you can actually purchase this house right now. The asking price is just over 1 million for this house. It's 1 million 75. But of course, I would never be going full price. I'd be wanting that down. But yeah, the details that you get in this move-in ready home, lots and lots of features in it. Just beautiful. Love view from the above. But also you get this movie room. Really nice to have. They got the Epson projector, which I'm a big fan of Epson projectors. I have one in my house for my, I use that as my main TV now. But yeah, close up these doors, watch all your movies you wanna watch. Really cool. You got some extra bedrooms up here. So let's go check out this one first. Decent sized bedroom, neat paint jobs on it. Oh wow, this is a really good sized closet, especially for an additional bedroom. Coming around here is going to be the bathroom. Well this is, let's see how this is gonna be working. You got this sink. And you're gonna, this toilet and bathtub is going to be shared with the room we're about to walk in right now. All right. Ooh, they got this uh, peachied up. But yeah, the light fixtures, they really went nuts with it. But yeah, there's the bathroom. They just kind of open up that door to go to the toilet and bathtub. And I guess if you've got house guests coming in, you just look, kind of lock that door. So yeah, very nice. Check out, see if this closet's as big as the other one. And it is really good size. You got your attic access right there. Eco B, which I'm a big fan of. All right, let's head on back downstairs. All right, we just came down this beautiful staircase and now we're gonna head into the master bedroom.
I love the fact they have it tucked around, but wow, they really took advantage of having this view out the back by having all these big windows and you don't have to put curtains up because there's nobody behind you. Really awesome being able to do that. Well, unless you're worried about someone on your deck peeking in. But yeah, really tall ceilings in this room. App, tons of space. This is a, can't tell. It's, yeah, I think this is a king size bed in here. Lots and lots of room in this bedroom. But I definitely love the uh, modern barn door on there. Beautifully done. I wanted to show off this bathroom because I love the herringbone tile on it. This is a giant, giant soaking tub. You do have the dual vanities. With, of course, upgrading like fixtures. It's spam phone calls calling me all the time. All right, and check out the shower. This is a big, massive shower. At first, I wasn't a fan of having the knob way over here, but now I am because you can turn the water on, kind of stick your hand in here. You don't have to get soaking wet to kind of stick out to see if the water's warm enough before you jump on in, which is, I think that's a really cool feature now that uh, I kind of start looking at it a different way. But yeah, this is a really big, super cool shower. Speaking of really big, check out this closet that we're coming up to. You got your water closet tucked away over there. But yeah, this is a really big closet. Lots and lots of space. And even more space that you can still build on. You got all of your hub. I guess you got the humming up here from this receiver. But the receiver is probably not coming in the house. But it does have that sneaky need that I like a lot, having access to your laundry room from your master bedroom closet where you, you're literally only just a few steps away from the washer and dryer section. And like I said, we showed this a little bit earlier going back to that guest bedroom. Would recommend still, like I say all the time, make sure you got a lock on that. It's an easy, easy fix. Is there a little cubby going back that way? Okay, yeah. A little more extra storage space going back in that direction. But wow, this is a beautifully done home. Really like it a lot. But God, that's a big old soaking tub. And just a view looking at it. It's spring time in Texas right now. It is early March. So it's a beautiful time to be in Texas. Showcasing what that extra space up there looks like. But yeah, I really do like this plan. I know this is one of Perry's popular bit larger house plans. Well, they go much larger than this, but this is a very well use of space plan. Like I said, this is 3,399 square feet. All right, that's gonna do it for a tour of this model home that's on the market as of early March, 2024. Remember, this is the 3399 plan, which is the square footage in the community of Cibolo Canyons on the north part of San Antonio, giving you really good access to everything in the, well, whole northern half of San Antonio because you've got 1604 and 281 right close by. JW Marriott in this community. Uh, if you're into golf, I know you get a little discount at being part of golf club if you live in this community but lots of perks about being in this area and you're not too far out from anything. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, if you know someone looking for a model home that's move-in ready, uh, feel free to send them this video. And uh, if you know anybody else who's looking for a realtor in this part of Texas, have them reach out to me, share this video with them. I'm definitely trying to grow my business using these videos. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Take care now, bye.